Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we're going to look at HARP, Gacona, Geoengineering, a few different areas of America, Madagascar and Korea. So starting with HARP, the Stanford VLF group, a very low frequency group, recent results of satellite observations of HARP generated high frequency and extreme low frequency waves. So we click on the link, get the title to the page, but there isn't actually any information on there. So can't really tell you anything about that. Maybe you will find more information than what I did. Geoengineering in the media. In the Washington Post, solar geoengineering research is a risk worth taking. And then if we look at the India Times, scientists want to try cooling Earth by dimming sunlight, but it could be risky. Here's why. So we could be seeing the start of a divide between the let's do it and let's not do it media outlets. Weather modification in America first. In California, technological innovations may be a solution to California's drought crisis. Covered this tech before from the United Arab Emirates to do with electrocuting the sky via drones. So California has been facing a severe drought crisis since the year 2000. California has also been modifying the weather heavily every year since 1952. Let's just be clear about that. Modifying the weather for 70 years, drought crisis for 20 years. So there's one section we'll look at. On the other side of the spectrum, cloud seeding, which has been in practice for years, over 70 years, let's be specific about this, allows professionals to create rain or snow. So that's okay then, isn't it? Because it's professionals doing it, right? It's not a problem. It's not going to go wrong. Could possibly increase rainfall by 35%. Those of you who watch these videos regularly will know the general percentage stated across the world is around 15 to 25%. So we're now up to 35%. So weather modification can increase rainfall by 35%, possibly, but you mustn't ever connect that to extreme weather events, or floods. As mentioned, the United Arab Emirates is working on a new technology that zaps clouds with electrical charges through the use of drones, all without the use of chemicals. So it's okay then, isn't it? Because there's no chemicals. Modify the weather. Huh? So look out California. The weather modification is continuing. It's just going to be done differently probably than what you've had for the last 70 years. Also in California, cloud seeding returns to forefront. A controversial tool to combat drought conditions is back in Southern California. The Santa Ana River Watershed Project Authority plans to conduct a four year cloud seeding pilot program in Southern California beginning later this year, 2022. And the last sentence, the results of a feasibility study recommend using a ground-based seeding dispersion model with several ground sites in each of the four areas. So it's always a pilot program, isn't it? California has been modifying their weather for 70 years under pilot programs and what have you. Over to Colorado. Local reservoir storage expected to be up overall. There were six storms in December in which cloud seeding generators were used, but only one in January. So, you know, Colorado has been modifying their weather. New Mexico, cloud seeding operation proposed in county. That's the idea behind a Texas based company that has proposed seeding rain clouds this spring over Key County and other parched areas of eastern New Mexico. Seeding Operations and Atmospheric Research, or SOAR, is requesting a weather control and precipitation enhancement license from the New Mexico Interstate Stream Commission on behalf of the Roosevelt Soil and Water Conservation District. The operations will be from April to June. The state would make a decision on his application as the comment period was scheduled to expire this week. Okay, Washington State. 
Weather Modification LLC has become a registered business at the end of January. It's a foreign limited liability company. It's based in North Dakota, Fargo Jet. We can expect operations to be carried out in Washington. So head over to Fargo Jet Center on their services and special missions page. Aircraft special missions and modifications. Cloud seeding aircraft conversions. There's certainly some tech that looks a bit different under that aircraft, isn't there? So Fargo Jet Center has modified over 100 special mission aircraft in the past 24 months, two years. The modifications range from simple cloud seeding platforms to extensive modifications and systems integrations as seen on one of our most recent completions for the Korea Meteorological Administration. So there you have your Korea confirmation that they have a program in place and Korea are modifying their weather. Over to Madagascar, pan-continental scarcity. Africans are forced to spend more money on water than food. Since last year, November, the country's public sector water company, Jirama, has performed more than 30 cloud seeding operations, weather modification operations. So that's 30 in the last three months. And there you have your confirmation that Madagascar has a weather modification program in place. So that was a quick roundup of some news. You can now add Korea and Madagascar to your list of countries that have weather modification programs in place. Good luck with finding more info on that HARP report if you can find it. Look after yourselves. We'll see you next time.